good day to you wherever you are watching me today i want to show you how to create a working paper account in nigeria a paper account that you can use to receive funds from anybody in the world a paper account that you can use to send money to anybody in the world and even a paper account that you can withdraw the fund or the money directly to your bank account here in nigeria everything is 100 percent legal you are not doing anything legal everything is legit you don't use vpn you are not using any fake number and eh? any fake identity so if you are new to my youtube channel kindly click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon beside so that you can be notified whenever i drop a new video kindly hit the like button as well so that many people can see this video and that will really 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 help a lot motivate me a lot to continue shooting video like this so now what do you need to create this paper account what you need is simple your phone number a new email address then for now let's see that's it that is for now we will need your identity id card and a visa card later but for the sake of the tutorial i just need your email address and phone number only so let's start creating our paper accounts right now let's go to my screen okay welcome guys now let's start creating our paper accounts so if you are if you are new to paper and the first thing you want to do is to go to paper.com to create your accounts if you are not wrong that's what most people do but if you do that see what will happen and i'll explain that paper.com now when you go to paper.com on your phone or your pc it will redirect you to this link. Check the link. Paper.com slash ng slash home. This is to show you that you are on the Nigeria Paper Home. And remember, Nigeria Paper accounts can only be used to pay online and send money. You cannot receive money with Nigeria Paper accounts and you cannot withdraw it to your bank account it's not going to work you can only pay and send to someone now the type of paper accounts you need is the one that can receive that can send and that can withdraw right okay if that's what you need you don't need to create a paper account on this page and also you don't need to use vpn to change your location this is what you will do you will try and create the paper on another country's home you know we are on nigeria home now so you will try and create that paper account on another country home so you can say okay should i create a paper account on us oh no don't try it don't create paper accounts with anything that will do with us if you are in nigeria that will definitely work but we will land into trouble so instead of slash ng that you are seeing here we can change the country by changing this slash ng so the first one i will do is slash ls paper dot com sorry paper dot com slash ls ls is the country code for lesotho lesotho i don't know the country but as you can see we have just a personal at the top here but here we have personal, we have business, we have partners and developers. So it's different. The paper 
accounts are different. This one you can only pay and send payments. But here you can pay, you can send and get paid. You can pay, you can send and get paid. But here you can pay and send, you cannot get paid. Another thing about this is you can also withdraw to your local bank account. So this PayPal account on Lesotho is, is different and better than the Nigeria PayPal account. And this is what most of us use in Nigeria. We use it to get paid, to send funds and to withdraw to our bank accounts. Aside from slash LS, you can also use slash is paper.com slash is. You hit on enter and you will land on something that looks like ls as well. Same thing that you can do on slash ls is what you can do on slash is. I hope you are getting this thing. The flags are different. The flags are different. The flags are different. Aside from this, you can also create a PayPal account with slash AE. That is the one they use in United Emirates in Dubai and Co. PayPal.com slash AE. Same thing you can do on almost everything. So is that you choose this, this, or this? Same steps, same way, same everything. But I will advise you to choose this one first, slash ls, because it's what we have been using for the past few years and it's currently working for us. So go with this. Paper.com slash ls and create your paper account here now on the next screen i will show you how to sign up okay let's start creating the paper account now i said you should create a laser to paper account yes because the one i'm currently using is laser to and it's be working so fine no problem no issue all at all you can go on with this but i want to go on with this because i don't have paper accounts on this so go for this go for this again go for this but because i don't need this paper accounts that's why i want to use slash ae i want to use any random one i don't want to create this one again so let's start click on sign up that is the first step. Now you are asked to choose between personal or business. I will advise you to go for business accounts because you have flexibility to do and undo. You can accept payments, send invoices to your customer, you can withdraw, you can do a lot of things with our business accounts. So click on continue. When you click on continue, you will land on a very very special page to start with your email address now remember i said i need your email address so put your email address here i will put something here as my email address okay so click continue now this image is already being used for a paper personal account so i've used this paper uh this image for a paper account before so what i will just do is to use so what is saying is that i've used this paper account sorry this email address for a paper account before well, I'm not aware of that because I have some accounts on paper. Okay, so what I will do now is 
I will try and use a new email address that I've never used before. Sorry, give me a few seconds. Okay. I've never used this email address before. Just change this. So let me go now. You have to use a password here. Use a unique one. A unique one. A unique password. So click continue. Then business contacts, your legal name, first name, your first name, not your son name, your first name. My name is Steven. My last name is my son name is Pelagadi. Now business details. What people will see when you send a request or when they want to pay you. So I will use uh any business name or just any random name share i will use let me use steven gate now number just change this one to nigeria number your number that you are using in Nigeria number, notes in Nigeria number. Don't use any legal number here. Use your real number. Nobody will catch you. Nobody will arrest you. I'm not finding Nigeria number here. This, okay, I finally find it. I'm so slow. So put your phone number here. Now your address. Your address. Put your address here. Your normal address. Don't change anything. Don't change Emirates, Abu Dhabi. You can choose whatever you can choose whatever just make sure that the rest are correct then by clicking this you agree to paypal user agreements and privacy click agree and continue now describe your business so proprietor i will choose so proprietorship Products you sell, I deal with web design. Sorry, web programming. Yeah, cool. Website. If you don't have a website, don't bother. So I just skip this step and continue. Your date of birth. Your date of birth. Your date of birth. Use the right tool. Use the right one. Don't tell lie here. Your nationality changes to Nigeria as well. Again, don't use any legal stuff. Aside from the place that we don't have option than to choose to buy now. So, identity documents. Your NIN. Your NIN ID. Your national identity ID. So you have to put that number here. If you have the number, you should put it there. If you don't have any here, but you have passport, put the passport number here. So that's what I want to use now. I want to use my NRN. I hope it will work. Because I think I've used the NIA somewhere before. I don't know. 
but I'll just try my luck. Maybe it will work or not. So let me just oh wait, let me just leave it like that. Mm, now you have successfully create a paper account. You have successfully create a new paper account. So yeah, you can receive fund here, you can do whatever you like here. But the first thing you have to do is let's confirm our email address. So go to your email and confirm it. They will send you an email to the register address you put. So just go and confirm it. If you don't see it, let's say you make any mistake, you can as well correct it. So that is it. That's how to create a paper account in Nigeria that can send and receive fund. So with this paper account, you can send you can send, you can ref you can request for money, you can send emails. Help this helps. So the next thing we do is to talk about verifying your paper accounts. Verifying your paper accounts because you have to verify with your email. That one is very, very easy. Then you have to verify with a card. You have to verify with a card. I'm going to tell you which card are you, you are going to use next because your normal card may not work. So I will tell you how to use your card, uh, how to get the card and use it next time. So yeah, that is it. I successfully create a paper account that can send and receive fund in Nigeria. So let me just log in again. I try. I try to. So now, the email has been confirmed. The next is this one. So that's how to create your paper. And that's how to create it. I hope you enjoyed this video.